Hey tribe, welcome to HGDC, HG Design to Crochet. I'm Heather, I'm 30 years old from the United Kingdom and this channel of mine is the home of the Granny Square and it's also got some knitting and some sewing in there and gardening, don't forget the gardening for good measure. Today, I've actually just recorded my June 2020 review and that will be up for you to watch already but I decided to record a yarn unboxing haul stash video separately because the vlog was already like, June was already like 40 minutes and then I've got loads of yarn and rather than rush it I wanted to take my time to show you all. So if you're brand new, thank you so much for watching actually reached 2,000 subscribers now as well which yay thank you all for being here if you are day one or you've been here for part of the journey or you just got here thank you so so much and if you are returning hey tribe what's good what's happening I hope you've had plenty of time for your hook making moments and memories I don't say that much anymore but that is my mantra okay yarn I bought a whole load of yarn, a whole load of yarn. So my resolution for, for June, no, for 2020, is to only buy yarn for projects. Um, because I have enough yarn, and I do. I have a lot of yarn, and I'm really blessed with everything that I have. And so I made a very conscious decision. Why do I think that's my car? Be right back. I'm back. It is my car. <laughs> my dad's moving my car so we can put some stuff in my garage and somehow set the alarm off. And I've just heard it again. I'll leave them to it. It sounds like they're having fun. Anyway, plus they rev my car so hard to get off my drive. My drive's like this. <laughs> um, yarn. So I've made a very conscious decision this year to only buy yarn for projects that I needed. So to join blankets, to finish projects, um, or for something that I knew I wanted to make, I had a pattern. Um, and so I put in a yarn order, the first one of this year, and I was so, so excited. Originally I was just gonna spend 30 pound um, on acrylic yarn to top this up, but then decided that 30 pound would equal 15 balls of yarn and it wasn't quite enough <laughs> so I upped it to 50 pounds which isn't a lot I mean we are almost seven months into the year um, so at the very end of June six months into the year I spent 50 quid uh, well I spent a bit more in the end but I had originally spent 50 quid on yarn just nothing um, and so a ball of double knit acrylic yarn is £1.99, almost £2. I think that equates to like maybe £2.50 £2 or something. It's not a lot. Um, and because I am making a square a day on this, I'm using all of my stash, DK stash. And I've run out of the greens and the pinks and the baby pinks and some of the yellows because they're quite heavily used in my other projects. And so I knew I wanted to stock up on those colours. And so I actually allowed myself to have, um, I was going to buy just 15 colours to stock up. And then I also decided to buy some yarn to join a blanket that I've already made, started making the squares for which I've called Enough, and it's also the EP Blanket by Meet Me at Mike's. So I actually bought eight balls, I think, or 10 balls of black, and then 15 or 17 balls of different colours, one of which is here. Um, to then, later the next day, sign up to test knit a pair of shorts. Um, and so I needed some cotton and linen blend double knit yarn. And so I ordered that as well, only I decided it was so cheap, it was like £7-ish, I think it was like 6 60 or 7 70 was all I needed. I think 7 70 gave me the extra ball, just in case. So I decided to buy two lots, I could get two pairs of shorts, and then I was so close to like the £25, spend £25, get free posted, I decided to just get a load of other yarn as well. 
So I've spent £75 on yarn so far in 2020 and I'm so excited to show you this yarn. Like, you know when you've waited so long for something and it's all going to get used up without a doubt. So I've already cracked into this colour but then I've also brought all of this and this. I kind of don't want to take the plastic off because I want to keep it all together but I'll sort that out upstairs in my yarn room. So there's going to be some rustling and then I'll show you all the colours. Okay I've opened the packs and I'm ready to show you. So before I start I'm going to say that I've brought the um, double knit yarn from blacksheepwools.com and they're based in the UK. I'm not sure where they are. Warrington. And then I bought the cotton yarn from Purple Sheep Yarns and they're in Lancashire. And I decided, like these yarn patches have been very um, conscientious, considerate, deliberate. I, I always do that, have you noticed? I pick three words when I'm trying to put something across. Three is the magic number. I decided I was going to shop small and I wanted to buy from brands that had actively spoke out against anti-racism. So, against, with, with anti-racism. Supporting it. If you can hear noise, it's because my dad's trying to put some stuff in my garage. <laughs> Just ignore them. We're all here for the yarn. Um, and so I have always had a favourite favorite yarn brand and I was quite saddened that there wasn't a post. Um, there was no solidarity. There was no acknowledgement. And although I know that a lot of brands chose to pause and not post, having someone not post to amplify black voices fine but to not post and stay silent on the issue and then carry on as normal the next day not fine um i want everyone including myself to feel welcome and wanted and part of this community and if i'm not i'll place my money somewhere else so I have tried this brand called Sheepies. I have seen them before, but I haven't tried them before. And I didn't realize how easy it was to get hold of in the UK either. Um, and so I decided to go with this brand because they did post and I hope it's not just a moment, it's a movement, but I decided to post a uh, post purchase. And I also decided to buy with smaller yarn companies, providers, suppliers. <laughs> um, I didn't put the third one. Providers, suppliers, merchants. There you go. Um, and so Black Sheep Yarns is family ran. And I normally buy from some of the bigger companies, I think just out of habit, but... Some of the bigger companies are actually quite behind in their orders, which makes me think they've got enough orders going in, their staff are under enough pressure, and I can spend my money elsewhere and help out another small, another family, another small business, and, you know, that's what I want to do. So, I did. <laughs> that sounded so condescending. I just, it's important to me to support other small businesses and make sure I'm spreading the love so I went with Black Sheep Yarn and they also posted a with against for anti-racism and that was important to me so if you can if you are going to be buying yarn if you can spread your money amongst smaller businesses and keep them going I, I don't want to see any yarn shops disappear from our high street I want them all to be there when we emerge from all of this so sheepies and I'm gonna take you through all the colors I've got my sales note here so I can tell you 
I brought eight balls of the black. They've all got names and I don't know what the names mean in English. So I hope none of the words are rude. I don't think they are. But um, when I pronounce them, they're going to be wrong. <laughs> Sorry. But this one is colour 1002 and it's E-D, E-D-E, Ed, Ed, Black. I got Ace of those and that's because I'm going to join EP, my Enough Blanket, with them. Um, my plan is, is to get Victory and my Kindle cover done and then start joining that blanket as long as it doesn't get too hot. I also brought this one which is called Veen Dam and it's number 1004 and it's a deep walnut brown because I've got some here and it's a really good match. Hang on, bring you closer. Can you see? So that's the previous one I had and that's the new one and I'm really pleased with that because it means that there'll be a cohesion across my squares and I, I have promised you a video on how I select my colours for my granny squares and that is coming. Now I've got this yarn I will be recording that for you. So I want to make sure that this blanket is really cohesive and that the colours are evenly spread. So I bought some more of this shade because I, I've used it all and I'm really glad because that's quite a good match. So that's the, I got the black, I got that, I got this colour. It's called Venlo and it's um, colour 1080. And what I also like is it says anti-pilling. It's got a fuzz to it. Definitely has a fuzz to it. But it feels soft. It's 100% premium acrylic. Um, you get 100 grams is 300 meters. It feels nice. It does. It feels really soft and squishy. Um, I find, I know there is a very big argument against acrylic. Um, it's not, it's not, what was I going to say? I'm going to say that anti-plastic, yes, I am on a whole that's not cover stuff in plastic. I'm totally with that. Not the camera now. I want to look after the environment. I want to do all those things to help the environment. Acrylic is plastic. Can't get away from that. But if it's going into forever projects like this that your children and their children and their children will cherish, that you're not polluting the environment. If you find things to put your ends into rather than just put them into the bin, you're not polluting the environment. Hopefully, businesses are looking into and finding more ways to use these materials to not pollute the environment. And also, it's hypoallergenic, so this can be used for children, people with allergies. And also, the colour selection and the price point means a lot of people can be included in it. So, you make your choice, I make my choice, let's all work together and save our environment. And I'm also going to add, I have seen some like rustic natural yarns that I do want to try and when I've got projects in mind I will be getting them, but for now, acrylic. So, this one is called Venlo and it's like um, a mauve almost. It's a lilac -y pink. I also got baby pink because I needed that in my stash. I've used it all up. Um, not only have I used it all up, I've got other projects upstairs that can use it. So the baby pink is called Citard and it's um, colour 1130. I picked a... Den Bosch, Den Bosch. You know I'm butchering these names, I'm so so sorry. Anyone wants to teach me how to pronounce them properly? I'm listening, I'm learning. Um, this is colour 1241 and it's a much brighter pink. Oh. It's not it's not quite Barbie pink, but it's there. Maybe bubblegum pink. I also then got this one, which is more Barbie pink, and this is Luke Look, and it's colour 2006 bright bright pink Ooh. 
Woohoo! These will all go in this blanket beautifully. Like that matches that. This one matches. I don't know if I've got. I think I had this colour before. I did. No, I didn't. New pink. And then baby pink. And that's a really good match as well. Um, and then I got this one, which is like a fluorescent pink, and it's called Mechelen. M E C H E L E M. It's colour number 2013. And that's a much more fluorescent, vibrant pink. Um, and then staying with the same tone, I went with a peach. Um, it's a quite a light peach colour and I do have a little bit of that in there, a tiny little bit. I think I used it for maybe two centres before I ran out of it. This is um, Lelestad and it's colour 1026. Really nice peachy colour. Which wants to blow out. There we go. Mmm, it looks edible. And then I have also got this colour. It's called Vinendal and it's colour 1064. And for anybody that watched Enough is Enough, and I hope you've all watched it, I did a square based on skin tones. And I've actually brought more yarn based on skin tones. I kind of feel like it's like a mocker, maybe. Um, because I want to do a bigger granny square project on that. And I've got this brown. That one isn't black. When I bring it closer to you, you can see. And I got... I think that was all of the ones that I got because I've got some more in stash but I want to make a granny square project based on the shades of humans basically so this one is called Harlem and it's 1054 Harlem I don't know what that means I'm gonna find out what that word means um, I've got like another tan colour and then a, a more creamy colour, so that'd be good. And then more shades for this, I got green, a, a bottle green, which I have used in this blanket. And again, I've used it all up here. And I also needed a couple of bottle greens to put on my garden inspired blanket which I've called Oasis. So this is Utrecht, U-T-R-E-C-H-T -E and it's called a 1009, 1009. It's a really nice green, really nice. I'd actually wear an entire jumper out of that green. Looks really nice. Oh, I've got a design that's just come to mind. So there's that green. I got this more vibrant green and that's called Malmondy and it's 2014, colour number 2014. Put that next to it for comparison. Um, and then, and I don't think I said, but these are all the Colour Crafter range. Colour Crafter. And um, they've got like 90 something shades, all different colours, which means that if you wanted to make granny square blanket like this you can pick as many shades as you want and put them all in and it's all the same yarn all the same content all the same weight so it'll work perfectly fine I also got this that's interesting I also got this colour which is Emin and it's 1116 and it's another shade of green that's more like a natural leafy green that one is slightly more enriched I'd say and then I got this green as well which is called Charloy and it's colour 2016 and it's more of a 
lighter green. And then I got yellows. So I got Eidenhoven, which is 1114, Leuven, which is 2008, and Brussels. And I'll have to get the band to tell you what colour number. But I got three yellows. I got quite bright yellows because I've used the majority of it up and I want to be able to put more into these projects. That one's more of a mustardy than a yellow, but I, I am pleased with it. Um, and then I bought this one, which is grey, but I think I actually meant to get a lighter shade of this and I've clicked the wrong one, but that's okay. I can still use the grey, but I'll be going back and adding to this anyway. I won't have enough in just the one ball for the projects I've got in mind, so I'll, I'll add a few shades. And then that's all black for the joining of my blanket. So let's see if we can load up Just needs the grey and the black and the bristle. Oh, hang on. Okay, other than the black and the grey, that is one of every shade that I have brought, which is great. And they are all going to look really good <laughs> in my blanket. Um, so I actually have six squares to catch up on this and I'm going to slowly merge these colours in. So for anything like this, which is pretty much an exact colour match for what's already in there, I can just go ahead and use them. For anything else that is a bit brighter or slightly different, I will slowly merge it in so it doesn't just sort of appear on one area, it'll be nicely blended in. Um, so that is everything I bought from the first site which was blacksheepwalls.com it was something like $1.99 for a ball of the sheepies colour crafter and I spent 50 quid so it was free delivery and I got it really quickly I think they shipped it within like three days which is really good going considering we're in the middle of a pandemic um, and other sites that I checked are like weeks behind um, so just look at all the colour combinations, all of the possibilities, like a pink and green, a pink and green blanket anyone? Um, oh, I could just sit here snuggled in my yarn, if I tilt this it might make you a bit sick, I could just sit in my yarn bath, <laughs> all the time, put you back straight again. So really really pleased with these i have started using it as well i've started using this brussel shade for my um kindle cover it's working up really nicely really soft it's got a really good color to it those pinks are different <laughs> um i'm really pleased so let me unravel unbury myself and then we'll go on to the second yarn delivery. Might just leave these all on me. I've waited so long to get you. <laughs> really liking pink and green combos. Okay, so then I signed up to test knit a pair of summer shorts and they're made out of a cotton and linen blend. And I don't have anything suitable in stash for that so I allowed myself to purchase the yarn. I actually bought two different colours to make that in. So this is from Purple Sheep Yarns. I think that's what they're called, let me check. Yep, Purple Sheep Yarns. And I bought the Drops Bell Uni Colour, it's the Everyday Luxury. And this is 53% cotton, 33% viscose and 14% linen. It's 
a really, really affordable brand. It was £1.10 per ball. But I got seven balls of this. It's the Drops Bell Everyday Colour, as I said. And this is um, shade Colour 11, and it's the shade Old Pink. So the cotton is the lighter, dusky pink, and the linen is the brighter pink that you're seeing. And I picked up seven balls, even though I only needed six, just in case I needed an extra one. It's always good to do that when you are making a pattern, is to have a bit extra just in case. I have already cracked in two, two going into my third one. So I've got five of these milling around somewhere to show you, but there's two. I just got another three, here's one. Another three somewhere. No. There's two in there. There's another two somewhere. Okay. So there's three out of the seven that I purchased. And then I decided to buy another shade for the shorts, and I've gone with black. And it's colour number eight and the cotton again is slightly lighter but it is not as noticeable as on the pink so it kind of gives it an almost navy effect but it's not, it's black. It is black, it looks black in real life, it's just on the camera, it's looking a bit navy but it's black um, and I bought seven balls of that as well and at £1.10 it was like 7 70 for a pair of shorts. Um, and then I bought all of these which are in my <laughs> mixing bowl at the moment. So I bought, again, a lot of black and this is a different one. So this is double knit and this is four ply and this is cotton linen viscose and this is all cotton, 100% cotton. And it's the Drops um, U colourway and it's the se number seven range and it's 100% cotton. You get 170 meters, which is 185 yards in 50 grams. And on the double knit, you get 131 yards or 120 meters for 50 grams. So there's like 50 meters between them. Um, it's four ply and it's cotton and I got a chunk of the of the black. Let me have a check. Do, 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 do. I got six of the black because I want to make a granny square outfit. And that's what I'm going to say for now for summertime. So I got black to join it, um, and it's all here. So I'm going to just pop over there out the way, and then I picked up a range of colours to go in my granny squares. So I'm gonna go straight in there with the pink. This is color number 13. I also picked up a baby pink, which is color number 14. I got a slightly brighter pink, which is color number 15. That's 13, 14, 15. I then went with this one, which is more like a, a magenta. It's color number 10. I then picked a lilac, which is colour number 12. I've got 10, 12, 13, 10, 12, 14, 15 there. They're escaping. They're gonna look so good as granny squares, joined in with the black. And then, just to just to break up the pink a little bit, add a little bit more of splash of colour, I went with this turquoise, which is colour number 18. It's really bright, really vivid, and just great for a summer outfit. And then, because yellow is just a love at the moment, I went with yellow. And this is colour number 9. Turquoise is number 18, yellow is number 9. 
And so I've got all of those shades to make a granny square outfit um, for this summer. And these were 75 pence a ball. I believe. Yeah, 75 pence a ball. Um, so it means this project is going to cost next to nothing. And I've got all of these great shades. So I, again, there's just so many like combination possibilities. take away a shade and it makes such a difference. I would put that one there. So there's gonna be even more granny squares and I'm I haven't really worked with four ply so I'm looking forward to how that's gonna look. I have got some sock yarn upstairs it's four ply that I'm thinking of maybe making into a granny square blanket of some sort. Um, I've held off for now because I could also make it into socks um, but depending on how much I enjoy making these granny squares I might then use I might start another four ply sock yarn blanket all the blankets so I am absolutely covered in yarn right now which I love I've just realised I've left my dinner in the oven for entirely too long so on that note I'm going to say hope you enjoyed my yarn haul my unboxing video I am so happy to have this yarn and feel so blessed and I want to say a big shout out to my tribe stars on patreon because your monthly subscriptions have paid for the tech editing fees for um, revival and it also gave me the money the 75 pound to spend on yarn and I am so, so grateful because it means that HDDC is paying for itself. It means that you're providing me with extra income so that I can make videos like this and I can make more and more granny squares. So thank you so, so much for being there. If you want to go and have a look, the link for Patreon is down below. Patreons get priority access to videos. So they get a day to two days before they are released to the public to watch them. They get weekly updates on what's going on in HDDC. So they see projects before YouTube does. I'd say by sometimes up to a month because I didn't show Victory or speak about Victory other than the squares on YouTube at all until the June review. And they also get the download codes to get my patterns for free. So have a look at my Patreon and thank you so, so much to Tribe Stars, the tribe. I hope wherever you are that you're safe, you're well, and that you've got some time to spend with your hook. Making moments and memories. Take care, tribe.